Welcome to the fifth video on building a social network with Go. In this one, we are gonna code the endpoint to retrieve users. This function retrieves users from the database in ascending order, with pagination and username filtering. Like in the previous video, we need to build a dynamic SQL query based on the provided arguments and whether the user is authenticated or not. But this time, I will take a different approach and use Go templates to improve readability. We can add some logic inside those curly braces. Also. I am gonna use named arguments. These are notated by an at symbol. Though, no driver supports them, so. I will parse them to placeholders by index later. That is for authenticated users. Now, if you give a search string, I will add the WHERE clause. The page limit is also applied. To skip results is more complicated, since there is already a WHERE clause that can or not be there. So I need to add a couple of conditions to be able to apply both filters to the query. That is it. I hope this method is more readable. Now, we need to parse this template syntax and replace those named arguments by the numerical placeholders. First, I am gonna have a cache for the templates already parsed. Then, I am going to apply the data over the template. And finally, replace the named arguments. Every argument replaced, it's going to be put in a slice to be returned at the end.
That is it. Now we can use that function to build dynamic SQL queries in a more readable way. I am going to make a function to limit the page sizes. No, we can easily pass the query and arguments to the DB. Though, to scan into structs we are going to keep it manually. It isn't actually that complicated. I'm going to log the builded query and arguments for you to see it. And that is it. Now, let's code the handler to test it. This is a GET request, so the parameters comes from the URL query string. In this case, I don't care about the error a to I returns. So, let's build it and test how it goes. Looks good. I am gonna try changing the parameters for you to see the queries in the logs. As you see, the queries are built correctly. Handling all the cases. That will be all for this video. I will replace the way the query in the last video was built, with this mechanism, so check for it in the repository. Link in the description.